After years of denying it, the truth finally caught up to former L.A. County Sheriff Lee Baca. Good evening, I'm Suji Nam. And I'm Scott Cook. More than two years after his retirement, Lee Baca came clean and pled guilty today in federal court. The former L.A. County Sheriff admitted to lying to FBI officers, conducting a corruption investigation into the prison system he once ran. I want to be clear that this is not a day of celebration for us. It is indeed a sad day when a leader of a law enforcement agency fails to honor his oath and instead of upholding justice, chooses to obstruct it. No list of achievements can justify the conduct charged today. No one is above the law. U.S. Attorney Eileen Decker announced Baca's decision to plead guilty. The charges against Baca are not directly related to abuse in the county jail system, but rather his efforts to block the investigation that could have revealed such abuse. The former sheriff, who resigned in early 2014, faces a maximum six months in custody. L.A. County Sheriff Jim McDonnell released a statement saying, I have faith in the justice system and trust that it is addressing the facts of these past events in a fair-minded, accountable manner. Our deputies and professional staff remain focused and committed to moving forward by continuing to perform their essential public service in a professional and caring manner. A retired sheriff's department commander says Baca's guilty plea came sooner than expected, but he did see it coming. It's a long time coming. The interesting part is that I and I know at least a half a dozen other executives had gone to Lee Baca years and years and years ago prior to all of our retirements and telling him he needed to separate himself from Tanaka. During Olmsted's time in the department, he says he witnessed corruption and he believes that will not change anytime soon.